What's it like travel to Japan with zero Japanese? Um, I feel like. What's it like be in Japan yeah. with lots of tattoos? Um. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Takashi from Japan. So today I'm going to interview tourists in Japan. How difficult it is to travel Japan with zero Japanese. Okay, let's find out today. On my channel, I interview Japanese people and foreigners in Japan. So it's the best channel for anyone who wants to come to Japan without traveling or living here. You can also learn Japanese here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's get started. Okay, thank you for your time. Where from? England. 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 Brighton. Brighton. Nice to meet you. How long have you been in Japan so far? This is our first day. We got here yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I assume you guys don't speak Japanese, but like, what's it like traveling in Japan with zero Japanese? What's it like? It's not too bad. I feel like some people speak at least a little bit of English, but obviously I used to live in Japan. So in the smaller towns outside was a lot more difficult not knowing Japanese. So what's the difference? living in Japan with zero Japanese and traveling to Japan with zero Japanese. What's the difference? Can you share your experience? Um, when I lived here, maybe it was easier because a lot of my friends spoke Japanese, so I would just kind of follow them. I also was studying a bit of Japanese and because I was living here for quite a long time, I would pick up a lot more and practice it. Whereas now it's been a few years since I've been back, so <laughs> it's a lot more difficult. Is, is it your first time in Japan? Yeah. First day, first time. Yeah, first day. What's your impression of Japan so far? Yeah, it's really Any, cool. Anything like good and bad? Um, it's, it's cool. I really like the architecture and buildings and everything. People in England, people in, people in Japan. What's the difference? I think they're a lot more polite here. Yeah. In England, I think, yeah, a bit more rude. <laughs> it depends. It yeah, really it depends. depends. Yeah, more chatty in England. So they'll talk to you a bit more, but I guess because we don't ja know Japanese, they may not speak to us as much. Okay. Can you imagine yourself living in Japan in the future again? Because you used to live in Japan, right? Yeah. No? I, I think so, yeah. Really? For another year or two years, but I don't know if I could live long term. Maybe if Why? I spoke Japanese. Okay. Also, there's a lot of cultural differences, so I don't know if I would be able to do it for longer than two or three years, to be okay. honest. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Where are you from? I'm from Poland. Poland? Yes. How long have you been in Japan? I've been here exactly 24 hours, I think. Okay. <laughs> yes. So, And this is the first time? Yes, my first time in Japan. And yes. you've been wanting to come to Japan since I, you were a kid? Uh, exactly. I've been wanting to come to Japan since I was a kid. When I was a kid, I used to watch anime, read manga, and I was always fascinated with Japanese culture. And now, at the age of 36, I'm finally making my dream come true. Do you speak Japanese? No? Uh, I studied Japanese two years before coming to Japan. So I could say I have I basic. Know some basic survival okay. phrases. And I think it's very useful, actually, just to learn a little bit okay. so that you can interact with people. So what kind of moment you feel, oh, I'm really glad I spent so many hours on studying Japanese in, in Japan? How, what kind of moment you feel that? I mean, honestly, even the first moment when I had to buy a ticket, to, for the train and I was able to communicate with the person who was selling the ticket and I was able to understand him he was able to, he was able to understand me that was for me like a great moment because I was I was like okay that is a small success but for me uh -huh. it's a it's, it's a mile already a milestone honestly I heard that Japanese people appreciate when you speak just a little bit so I really wanted to make sure that I that I at least know survival phrases so that I can respond to the questions and ask the questions properly without actually making them feel ashamed maybe that they don't know English because I know that sort of Japanese people are a bit shy and reserved when it comes to speaking English so I just wanted to learn a bit of Japanese just to make them more comfortable and I just wanted to approach them good to know thank mm. you so much thank you so much enjoy Japan thank you I will thank you thank you for your time we're from uh, Perth in Australia Australia yes is it first time in Japan it is, yes. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah first time here, um, yeah. What's it like traveling to Japan with zero Japanese? Um, it can be a little bit difficult because I think not as many people speak English as I maybe thought they would. It's difficult at times mainly to like go out and eat. Um, I found in Kyoto like not many restaurants had English menus, which makes it a little bit hard. But if you have your phone and you sort of use Google Translate, then it makes it easier and everyone's very helpful. So you kind of get by but it's a little bit difficult at times yeah can you show a little bit of tattoo <laughs> oh yeah you have a lot uh too many to too many to cover right yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> probably about like almost 40 now what's it like being in japan yeah. with lots of tattoos um i feel like kyoto is 
can be quite conservative. Um, yeah. And I've got a lot of tattoos. So I found it was a little bit, um, yeah, I feel like I had to maybe cover up my tattoos a little bit more. Um, and sort of our hotel had a public bath and I wasn't allowed to go in the public bath because of my tattoos. But I expected that. I sort of yeah. had already oh, yeah. read up on that before I came over. So it wasn't a big shock, but I was still like, oh, okay. So yeah, yeah. Because yeah. people know, I think you cannot go to onsen when we yeah. started, right? But like, except onsen, did you find any diff ex extra difficulty or just the onsen, you would say? Yeah, just the onsen. Okay. Like, I didn't personally, um, I'm not sure if other people sort of have different experiences, but personally, I didn't. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, you're thank welcome. You so much. <laughs> okay, thank you for your time. Where are you from? I'm from London. London. You're traveling here, right? Yeah, we're here for two and a half weeks on holiday. Is it your first time? Yeah, I've never oh, been to Japan before. Really? Yeah. And you don't speak Japanese, right? No, like okay. the odd word, but that's it. Uh, what's it like traveling to Japan without Japanese? Is it easy or is it difficult? Uh, it's quite easy to get by, I'd say. Like, taking the metro and everything like that is quite simple. Everything's quite self-explanatory. Um, but it's quite hard to communicate with people because people don't speak that much English, generally. And you can't really work out the Japanese from reading it. So you kind of have just no idea what things say most of the time. Um, so it is quite tricky. Traveling to Japan. Like, how would you rate pros or cons, any good, goods and bads? Like, how, how would you rate? I think it's amazing. I love it so much. Um, a con would be, I don't know if this is just me picking the wrong places, but everything opens so late in the mornings. Like, nothing I've, I want to go to really opens before, like, 11 a.m. generally, which I find quite annoying. But apart from that... You're early, but... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. I wake up quite early, yeah. Oh, 11 a.m., yeah, that's true. Even, even the coffee shop in Tokyo, yeah. mostly, like... 10 a.m. Yeah. or something. It's really strange. It's really, it's that I find that quite annoying because I want to do stuff in the morning, but there's just nothing. Okay, good nothing to know. To good do. To know. Yeah. I didn't know that. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Where are you from? Uh, Los Angeles. Nice to meet you. Los Angeles. Yep. Uh, how long have you been in Japan so far? Three weeks. Three weeks? What's it like traveling to Japan with zero Japanese? Um, I feel like people are very accommodating if you don't speak it. We've tried to learn a little bit before coming, mm -hmm. not to get us around, but people are super accommodating. Yeah, I'd say when you're trying to have like deeper conversations with people and you want to ask about the culture, and obviously you want to ask more in-depth questions, but you can't. <laughs> what, what kind of moment was it? Like in the shop? Or? Uh, so we went to a shrine over in Okinawa, uh. and we wanted to talk to, there was like an Okinawan priestess, and we kind of wanted to ask her about the shrine and the history of it, but you couldn't really ask her because it was right. kind of like that language barrier. Jeez. Where is the most favorite place in Japan that you, you visited? Or this time? Well, she's going to say Harajuku Station. But... Yeah, Harajuku for sure. Harajuku. Yeah, yeah, I can tell you. Yeah. It. <laughs> yeah, big inspiration for me, and I got to meet a lot of cool people in that area. You? Yeah. you? Uh, probably Shibuya in Shibuya? general. Yeah, yeah. I really like Shibuya. It's more my vibe. Okay. Thank, you so yeah, Thank you so sure. much. Thank you. That's it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Where are you from? Canada. Canada? Yes, Montreal. How long have you been in Japan? Uh, since January, so about three months. So, you don't speak Japanese, right? No, I'm squishy right now, but <laughs> okay. yeah. What's it like to travel to Japan without Japanese? Um, it's interesting, especially when you don't look like everybody in the country, which is something that I guess like I expected, but didn't realize the magnitude of it. Mm -hmm. um, you really know if you don't speak Japanese, you know nothing. It's you can see on like in the Tokyo metro and on the street like some English speaking words. But in terms of actually getting to know people and getting to know more about the culture, more than whatever the internet tells you, it's virtually impossible. I'm a person who really likes to be social and I love to get to know the country more than me just saying I'm visiting and I'm here. So in any circumstance where I'm at a restaurant and I see the chef, like it's clear that this is, this is an older person or someone who's been here and you know they probably have their own life story and I don't speak the same language as them, so I don't get to hear any of that I don't get to ask them I'll say like it feels lonely to not speak Japanese and to live here because you can't talk to people the way you would talk to them at home what's a piece of advice you give to someone who's coming to Japan as a tourist especially for the first time well I would say learn the basic Japanese in terms of like a food setting most the thing that I've realized is like there's not that much to do here that isn't related to food so you have to love food if you come here and most people love food who do come here yeah. so if you love food learn food oriented japanese words like how to order what to recommend osusume nandeska just means like what is your recommendation and like the osusume nandeska has gotten me really far in life if the fucking 
Google says to go there, don't go there. Most people don't realize is that most restaurants in Japan on Google Maps are written in Japanese, not English. So if you look up the word sushi on Google in English, it will show you the Japanese restaurants that have adapted their Google Maps to say the word sushi. But if you if you go in Google Translate and write sushi translated to Japanese, then put that in your Google Maps, you will have a whole new set of restaurants that are sushi restaurants that you would not be able to find if you didn't type it in Japanese. Understand that no one speaks English here and take advantage of that and just try to be like a local, think like a local. So you've been here three months or so, like quite long as a tourist, right? Quite long. Why did you run from this trip? Why did you run, why did you run from Japan? I really love how respectful Japanese people are to others, to themselves and to their country. For example, on the, on the ground, you don't have any trash. They respect the street. They respect the culture. That's a really important thing that we don't have back home. It's like we will litter on the street just because it's convenient for us. Mm -hmm. And even though there are no garbages here on the street, people don't litter. And as a foreigner, when I come here, I, say, I literally say, I, maybe I would litter here if I was back home. But because I'm in Japan, because everyone's so respectful, I'm not going to do that. So what I've learned is to be more respectful, to respect others, to treat the places I go to with the respect that they deserve and to not apply my own way of living and way of thinking to the place that I visit, but rather adopt what that place is like and just appreciate it for what it is. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, thank you for watching so far. How was it? That was interesting. I'm also planning to make a video about living in Japan with zero Japanese as well. So when I upload it, please check it out. Now it's the best timing to come to Japan. So there are so many tourists on the street in Tokyo. I want to take advantage of it. You know, I like to interview them. So if you have any video idea interviewing tourists in Japan, please let me know in the comments. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, click like button. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have any question you want me to ask people in Japan, please leave it a comment too. See you next time.